Hello everyone. In today's video, I will discuss about rural urban continuum. And this is the extension of the previous video. As in the last video I have discussed, that's how urban, there is a rural urban continuum, a concept used to understand the interaction between rural and urban society or rural and urban areas. So this discussion I will continue. And in a present video, I will give the example of Indian situation. So let us begin. As we have discussed, rural urban continuum is a concept which is uses for understanding the interaction between rural and urban society, rural and urban area. The rural urban continuum is a concept which recognizes the difficulty, difficulty in determining the beginning and the end of the rural society or urban society. It is a concept which also recognizes the difficulty in demarcating rural society and urban society. So all such things we will discuss in this video. Now there may be a question that why there is a difficulty because already the rural society is demarcated, urban society is demarcated in all the nations, in all the countries, in all the regions. But here I will clarify it that this demarcation is not the societal demarcation. This is the administrative demarcation that is certain place is uh, means the established or categorized as the village and certain areas are categorized as urban towns or cities or metro cities whatever it may be. So societal demarcation is very very difficult. So this concept basically recognizes this difficulty and again it varies from developed to developing countries even to a, even it is further varied in the underdeveloped or the poor countries but mostly this uh, difficulty this ambiguity in recognizing or in understanding the rural and urban society exist in the developing society so why this is there that we shall understand in india the industrialization process started during the british rule and it even continued after independence after uh, after independence india adopted the industrial economic policies and massive industrialization also started in India after independence and today India is one of the leading developing country in term of its industrialization but I would say okay, this is in term of the massive industrialization India is now considered as one of the leading developing country because developed countries are now making India as a huge market for them. And this, this market, that is this India, is very useful for developed countries for many reasons that I am not going to discuss in this video. So anyway, so because of this developing nature of the society, that is because of this match, a massive industrialization process, large number of cities and urban areas and urban centers have emerged and every day expanding, which further has uh, created a new form of society, new type of a new kind of society in the urban settings and that has become a completely distinct from the rural indigenous simple folk society of the India. India at times were predominantly rural but because of this massive industrialization and subsequent process of urbanization has made 
uh, the rural uh, life or rural society a distinct backward or primitive or simple or folk indigenous society as compared to the modern urban life or modern urban society or urbanism what we should has mentioned there is urban way of life so this urban way of life has made it very difficult to differentiate the differentiate the exact point of demarcation between rural and urban society and because of this expansion of the industrial society uh, the expansion of the urbanization expansion of the industrialization the urban areas are uh, urban areas are expanding more and more so the more urban areas are expanding more rural areas are shrinking so, and another point is that the development of suburb suburban areas suburban areas are basically the areas which are developed to locate the urbanites for the residential purpose urbanites usually finds they are suburban areas for their living purpose they makes the residences various companies now coming up to build the large apartments to accommodate these urbanites into this uh, urban life in suburban areas that is why are developing very frequently in all the cities and on the other hand we said that rural areas are becoming means shrinking now here point is that why there is a confusion because in india we have seen we have observed the certain the certain uh, rural features certain rural characteristics still exist still prevails in the urban society and before explaining this i shall uh, also mention that urban society rural society is different from urban area in the rural area this point i have discussed in the previous video urban area or rural area is administrative demarcation but rural society and urban society is two kind of society which we uh, identified based on certain societal factors that i discussed in the previous video so point is that certain rural characteristics are means existing prevails in the urban society and another important thing is that the feature of urban society or the urban way of life is not uh, getting ended in a point where administrative uh, urban area is uh, end or administrative urban area is finished suppose a city which has a demarcated demarcated location boundary but it's not that the urban way of life of this particular city ended in a point where the administrative boundary is there no it extends even beyond that boundary so this extension again takes many of the rural areas under its cover that is under the cover of urban way of life so even if the officially the area comes under the village but peoples who turns into the urbanites that is urban way of life extended to these areas and it appears as if it is urban so this is the confusion here this point is the confusion this is the confusion officially in administrative sense a place may be village but in term of the urbanism urban way of life in term of the features of the urban society it can be considered as urban that is it can be considered as urban society and these things are happening more in the developing country like india why because there is wide gap between rural and urban society exist anyone can clearly visualize which is urban society and which is rural society and another point is the aspiration of certain section of the rural society to become urbanite so they start moving towards the urban areas or near to the urban areas like suburban areas to live 
a life like the urbanites. This, this is the situation of India because there exists a huge distinctive gap between rural society and urban society. Why that I have pointed out before, because of the massive industrialization and subsequent process of urbanization, the Indian cities are developing technologically and in terms of infrastructure. But the rural areas, rural societies are not getting enough the facilities or not uh, uplifted in the not uplifted in very satisfactory manner. Maybe road communication is building up, but the rural way of life is much backward than the urban way of life. Why? Because industrialization process or industrial activity or urbanization is very massively changing certain section certain section of the population's life and certain areas. On the other hand, rural uh, peoples are facing uh, the scarcity of income, employment, the work and many uh, such things like education, health, other facilities of life. And this distinction has created another issue that whether Indian society is modern or not. So that I will discuss in any other video on Indian modernity or modernization in India that I will discuss. But here point is that, so this interaction between rural and urban society in India is very much ambiguous. First of all, the rural features, uh, rural features that is there in the urban society is because of the widespread migration. Why migration? Migration is there because of the lack of employment, work and income in the rural areas, backwardness of the rural areas. And another reason is the aspirations to live in the urban areas among the rural population. So this widespread migration happens, but migration once the rural people migrates in the urban areas, so the problem starts. Because the cost of living in the urban areas are comparatively higher and it becomes very difficult for the rural peoples to maintain this cost of living. So they start living in an area called a slum. So slum areas are becoming expanding, expanded more and more. Large number of slums areas are coming up. Newly slum areas are coming up and old slums are becoming more crowded. So this is not at all a sign of development or modernity. So even if urban society is very much uh, developed, modern in terms of its technology, infrastructure and many other features, but rural features are rooted in it particularly in India. Almost all the cities, mega cities, metro cities of India having large and huge slums and large number of populations are living in it. So the way of life they are living in the slum is very much, uh, very much uh, deplorable and very much backward because of their uh, means incapability of maintaining expenditure incapability of meeting the basic needs. So, how can the developmental uh, policies, how can the developmental uh, scholars will differentiate these particular things? How can they avoid this particular phenomena while defining urban society or urban area. They merely focus on urban area, but they don't focus on the urban society. So if we are saying urban society, it has a certain way of life. And if the urban way of life is again attached or mixed with the rural, the way of life, then how come it becomes, how, can it, how come it is the urban? And if officially, a place is village, 
but it has the urban way of life how can the rural society can be <coughs> how can how, how come this rural uh, place can be considered as rural because urban life exists in this place so this is what confusion is going on and in the developing country like india this ambiguity and this difficulty is becoming more uh, more and more because large number of cities are coming up and large number of the suburban areas are coming up and the aspiration of the rural peoples to be to migrate to urban areas or to live life uh, like urban areas is also increasing urban areas are having all good facilities like educational facilities health facilities and all the good uh, equipments are there rural peoples are just getting the minimum facilities like uh, the primary health centers primary schools which are of having very poor quality and all the modern equipments are not available so that are the aspires for living in the urban areas and which further create the problem of migration and migration as i said creates the problem of slum and slum again affects the affects the uh, recognition or identification of urban society from the rural society so this is the discussion for today and i'll continue this discussion in the next video